what's with all of these duplicated registry key file system? What, why do we have all of these things that are duplicated in the system? Well, the simple answer is that no matter what it is, I guarantee you that if you've got something that was there 25 years ago, I guarantee you that there's somebody's line of business app that is absolutely critical to the functioning of their business on a day-to-day -day basis that has a dependency on that thing. Whatever it is, it doesn't really matter. The nature of Windows, the, the, the challenge of Windows is that somebody has a line of business app out there and their business, as I said, depends on that app working and it's got a dependency on some really weird thing in the Windows registry or the Windows file system or something like that. And we have to keep that app running because that's part of the value proposition of Windows is that your apps don't break. We don't ever make changes to Windows that are going to break your apps because, well, it, it's not a good it, it's not a good thing. That's as I said, it's what we do is we make sure that the app that used to run still runs. And so, yeah, sometimes that means there are stuff that's been there for a really long time and there's a new better location that might be more up to date, but that older version, that older reference, it's still there, still works. Because as I said, somebody out there, I'm sure depends on it. The other part of this that comes up is, well, why don't you just use hard links? And sometimes actually people do use, well, you do use hard links. Uh, Notepad, for instance, is hard linked to a version that's in the system 32 directory. But in general, the Windows team tries to avoid using hard links because they tend to break certain disk utilities that really depend on that low level functionality. And they don't know they're dealing with a link and so they tend to misbehave. And again, breaking apps, you don't want to ever do that.